Are you wondering what's new in WordPress version 5.9? This is the first major release of 2022, and it's packed full of lots of features and improvements. Let's head over to my WordPress website and I'll show you around. Probably the most talked about update to WordPress 5.9 is full site editing, otherwise known as FSE. The problem is that to be able to really take advantage and use full site editing, you must have a block theme installed that supports this new feature. WordPress 5.9 introduces a completely new theme called 2022, which is of course a block theme that allows us to take full advantage of the new full site editing features. On our demo site, we have the new 2022 theme installed. And when you activate a block theme, the first thing you might notice is that you lose access to the customizer in the appearance menu. If this stresses you out, you're definitely not alone. I feel the same way at this point. There's no need to worry just yet. This really only applies to you if you're using a block-based theme. Otherwise, if you're using any other WordPress theme, then you will still be able to use the customizer and edit your header and footer however you wish. Click on the editor link to open up full site editing mode. Everything now works within the Gutenberg block editor. So going forward, you will only use blocks. Click on the WordPress logo in the top left corner and you will be able to access your themes, templates and template parts. You can edit any of the default templates and even create new ones by clicking the add new button in the top right corner. The problem for me right now is that this is still rather limited when compared to other more robust options that are out there. You will also now be able to do more within list view in WordPress 5.9. In the top navigation, if you click here on this button with three horizontal lines, it will open up the list view and we can click here to easily collapse the list view sections or click and drag any item to move it up or down. There is also a new improvement to patterns, which adds an explore option that opens up the pattern library in a way that is much easier to navigate. If you're like I am and really don't use patterns or don't know what patterns are, they're just a collection of pre-built blocks that allow you to add a pre-designed block to your website. Note that in WordPress 5.9, the global styles interface replaces the customizer and is now the only way to customize settings and styles when using a block theme. To do this, click on the style icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. From here, you can change the topography and colors of your website. With the site editor, you can also make changes to the styles of individual blocks used on your website. Simply click on the style button and then choose blocks. Here you'll see a list of blocks that you can edit and customize. This will allow you to set styles for individual blocks across your website. For example, you can change button colors to match your brand colors. Besides full site editing, WordPress 5.9 introduces a number of other features. There are 10 new blocks made specifically for FSE and located under the theme category. In the upper left-hand corner, click on the plus button and scroll down to the theme section. Here you will notice that there are a lot more theme blocks to choose from, such as navigation, header, footer, post author, next and previous posts, post comments. Note that these site editor blocks can also be used inside a WordPress post or page, which I think is pretty cool. I can definitely see myself using some of these when creating blog posts. WordPress also introduces some improvements to the block editor. I have to admit that when the block editor was released a few years ago, I was quite hesitant to change and stuck with team classic editor for quite a while. It has taken me a few years, but I am now more comfortable using the block editor when creating blog posts. However, I still find it rather clunky and way less intuitive for building complex pages and custom website design. If you're like most of my clients who spend the majority of the time on their website writing blog content, then I think you will find these next two improvements to the block editor useful. The headings block now allows you to select a heading level from a vertical drop-down menu. You also have more control over topography, design, margins, and spacing for your headings. 
WordPress will also now fetch and display rich URL previews for links inside your post editor. Question of the day, are you excited about full site editing? Go ahead and drop a thumbs up or thumbs down in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts. And in case you're wondering, I will leave a list of my favorite WordPress tools in the description below this video. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.